Welcome to this answer explanation video for correspondence problems. This video will talk through the answers to the correspondence problems worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Let's make a start with question one. Mr Hill has five different coloured stickers that he uses in class. Each colour comes in a different design. Mr Hill thinks he can make 11 combinations. So we can see there we've got our sticker colour and we have our sticker design and then we have a calculation, 5 plus 6 equals 11 combinations and then the main question is correct the mistakes above to show how many combinations he can use in total. Now when we are looking at correspondence problems and we want to find the relationship between groups of objects, we actually need to do a multiplication calculation. We need to look at how many sticker colours there are, so there are 5 and then we look at how many designs there are, and there are six, and we make that into our multiplication. Five times six equals 30, so there are actually 30 combinations. So the mistake Mr Hill has made is that he has used addition instead of multiplication. Question number two. There are three shops, each with three shelves of different food. Find the odd one out in the total number of different combinations of each food stall. So again, we're looking at all the possibilities for finding different combinations of different objects. We can start with shop A. And we can have a look at their different combinations. So on their top shelf, they have four combinations of crisps. Then they have four combinations of drink and then two combinations of sweets. So our calculation is four times four times two. So four times four is 16. 16 times two is 32. So there are 32 combinations. For shop B, we have two flavors of crisps, eight types of drink, and two types of sweets. So this one's different because it's written rather than showing us the images. Again, we need to do the calculation. So two times eight is 16, and then 16 times two is 32. So we have the same for these two. They have the same number of combinations. Let's check for C. C has eight flavors of crisp, and then three types of drink, and then one type of sweet. So eight times three is 24, times one is still 24. So shop C has 24 different combinations. Having looked at the combinations for shops A, B and C, we can see that C only has 24, whereas A and B both have 32. So shop C is the odd one out because it has 24 combinations, whereas A and B create 32 combinations. Question three. Rupert has 15 Pro Demon cards which come in three varieties, normal, shiny and legendary. He has to pick one from each category for a Pro Demon battle. Rupert says, all of my cards are different. I have six normal cards, four shiny cards and five legendary cards. I can take one of more than 100 combinations into battle. Is Rupert correct? Explain your answer. So Rupert believes that he has more than 100 different combinations. We can check this by doing the multiplication that we've done on the previous questions. So we have six normal cards, four shiny cards and five legendary cards. So our calculation would be six times four times five to find the number of combinations. Six times four is 24. 24 times five is 120. So there are actually 120 combinations. Each of them will be different. So let's check what Rupert said. I could take one of more than 100 combinations into battle. Is Rupert correct? Explain your answer. We could say, yes, Rupert is correct because six times four times five equals 120 combinations. 120 is more than 100. 
That was a video explaining the answers to the correspondence problems worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. For more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching.